Good morning, guys. I am, uh, I'm thinking of hitting the gym before I have to go to work. Uh, interesting day today. I've got, uh, some work to do. I'm selling my drone because I want to get a different one. So I think that's happening today. Also, I have a dinner meeting tonight, which should be interesting. Um, let's do it. Headed to work now. Got a little workout in. Um, nothing major. I think I'm gonna go back later. Get a, uh, a bigger one in, a more substantial one. Let's go to work. Home now. I gotta finish editing the vlog from yesterday. I have to go to the gym. Don't know if I'm gonna be selling the drone today. Hopefully I will, but we'll see. And I have the dinner meeting later. Um, sorry I'm being quiet. My neighbors I'm trying to be respectful. business meeting uh, should be good should be exciting Some cool things coming up but uh, I will see you guys in just a bit Q&A coming up very soon business meeting went really well now it's time for the Q&A let's do it question Thursday time every Thursday I ask you guys to send me questions with the hashtag Emmett Q&A and I do a special Q&A part of the Thursday vlog. I'm gonna attempt to answer as many as possible. Hey Emmett, loving the vlog so far. My question is who is your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Ooh, who's my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? I do like Donatello because he's super smart and he has the bow staff, which is awesome. I don't know though, I think like Leonardo is basically like the main guy, like he's supposed to be like the most dedicated student and he has like the two swords, which is awesome. I also love nunchucks. Nunchucks are badass. So Michelangelo is cool too. They're all cool. I don't know. They're all cool for their own reasons. I'm being very indecisive apparently today. What's my Hogwarts house? Um, everyone says Gryffindor. I think I'd probably say Slytherin because it's a little more badass, but I don't know. Probably Hufflepuff or something lame like that. <laughs> What's it like living in Chicago? Uh, Sammy Kinsey or something. Um, what's it like living in Chicago after being from New York and going to Juilliard? It's different. Chicago's like a more spread out version of New York. More spread out and a little cleaner. <laughs> uh, but I am a New Yorker at heart, so I definitely miss New York very much. Hi Emmett, Marshall and I are about to adopt my brother's kitten, Piper. We don't know the first thing about cats. What's some advice that you can give to us? Definitely when you first get your cat, since you have a dog, watch them for the, the first day or two. What's a good way to do it is put the kitten in one room and the dog, like keep them separate, but let them kind of sniff at each other under the door and they'll kind of get used to each other. Hi Emmett, so you've been to a lot of places while on tour. If you had to pick one place to revisit, where would it be and why? And I love the vlogs by the way, bye. Um, v Styles, I think is your username. Uh, I. <laughs> if I, I, it's hard to pick one place because there's places I haven't been yet that I really want to go to. I could tell by your video filter you're, uh, you're in Portland, which Portland is one of my favorite places to go to. Great audience, great crowd, great um, venue. I don't know if I can, I really can't, honestly. Because if I picked one place, I'd be lying, you know? And I don't, don't want to lie to you guys, I want to be honest. But I definitely want to come back to Portland if that helps. If I weren't a performer, what other career path would I have chosen? Um, if it was completely not in the arts, I probably would have done something in medicine. Uh, I was thinking pediatrician for a while because I like kids, but I don't know. Something in medicine. I, always, I was always good at science and math, so 
I thought that would be a way to go. Will I be coming to Philly anytime soon? I don't know. I mean, uh, we have some, I have some time off in December. I'm thinking about doing some Christmas shows, but I would only be able to do a few, very few. So we will see, but I mean, listen, I would come anywhere. Uh, I'd come to every city of every state of every country in the world if I could, but you know, it has to, there has to be a, a fan base there that's willing to come to the shows. There has to, you know, it has to, you know, financially make sense. Uh, but what's cool actually is recently I've started to do private shows for fans, which is new, uh, where like one fan will email me and uh, uh, email me at this address and uh, <laughs> and will arrange a thing where I come in with a pianist and it's in their living room very often, just with a keyboard, or it could be anywhere, really. But I think it's every, every friend that they bring or every person they bring or every fan that ends up coming to the private show will pay, like will contribute to that person to cover the fee. I don't know, it's a whole thing. But yeah, I've been doing that, so that's cool. That makes it a bit easier because it's hard for me to organize tours right now because I don't have chunks of time. But we'll see, maybe December. Would you ever join Celtic Thunder again and are you going to do private tours soon? Um, I did. I haven't left Celtic Thunder. I'm just, you know, I'm taking a, a bit of a break to uh, to do this opera contract. So I'm not. I haven't like left the group officially. I guess um, I'm just kind of, you know, taking a bit of a, a pausa um, to indulge my opera self. But yeah, hopefully next year or something, I'll be I'll be hitting the road again with the guys. They're on tour now and they're coming to Chicago soon, so I'm definitely gonna go see them. I'm excited to see them in Chicago. And for solo tours, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, solo tours are gonna be hard. It's gonna be more like pickup shows where it'll just be a show in your town. It won't be like a part of a formal tour because it's I can only really do shows with the random bits of time I have free you know, throughout the year, because it's I only really have two chunks of time, some in July and some in December where I'm actually free. But as I said before, maybe December, uh, maybe December I'll have a Christmas tour, so we will see. Are you working on an album right now or even possibly a Christmas album? Uh, Eliza, I'm not working on an album right now. I have two, I have two albums out already. This here, the, uh, the classics which is my first full album, and the EP that I came out with two years ago, Evan O'Hanlon, self-titled. Uh, so I have these that are available on my website, and I have some posters and stuff, but uh, as far as an another album, I'm not working on anything right now, but I have an idea for Christmas that I don't want to tell you guys about yet, but in lieu of an album, I might be doing something else that's also awesome. I will let you know as that stuff kind of gets sussed out, but we will see. Where can we send you things? Uh, that's a good question. I have a PO box in New York, but I know some fans were having issues with that, uh, with things getting returned and whatever, and it's not me, it's the post office. I can, I can only do what I can do. But I think either tomorrow or Monday, I will be going to the post office here in Chicago and setting up a PO box here. That way, there's no issues. That way you guys can send me stuff and we can get it featured on the vlogs. And that's the thing, actually, if you send me stuff, you will see it on this vlog because it's the least I can do because you guys are so giving and so thoughtful. Uh, so watch out for that P.O. box. I will put it in the next, you know, the next vlog or once it's set up, I'll put it in the vlog. I'll let you guys know because uh, I know a lot of you have reached out and told me that you want to send me stuff so I can feature it. And listen, if you have a business or you have whatever and if you're, and you're a member of this vlog community, uh, let me know. Send me what you have and Always send a letter. If you're sending me a gift, send me a letter too, because that's even more important to me, because I want to know who you are. Uh, but send me a letter and I'll feature your stuff on the vlog. So that does it for our question Thursday session. I really, really love that you guys are sending me questions. Keep them coming, I'm gonna do this every week. And that being said, I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see you on the next one. So I'm gonna end it right now.